Hey folks, 1881MF here, Little Debbie Does, Life Button Channel. Today, okay, look at this first. This is a piece of that copper that I poured from copper heat sinks off of old computers. And it's not totally pure, and I want to make it totally pure. One of the ways to do that is to make this little cell with copper sulfate. Copper sulfate cell, I suppose. Anyways, we're going to basically take this and make this the positive connection and then we're going to take a piece of wire and make the negative connection and those are going to hook back to power not very much one volt nine volt however much i slap in there and then we're going to make water with this copper sulfate got at the hardware store it's for cleaning roots with your septic tank pure distilled water so we have to make our fluid first And I'm going to dissolve that in distilled water. And I'm just kind of taking the easy way out here because I'm lazy. You're not lazy. We're going to make sure this is all dissolved. Look how beautiful. What a pretty blue. So I'll keep shaking this until that's all dissolved. So here, here's my cell. This is just an old fish bowl. And as you can see hanging right here, that's my anoid. That's my piece of copper that we made, poured. That's another video out there. It's kind of crappy, so we're going to use that. And then this one right here is another piece of clean copper that's going to be our carrier. So I'm going to fill this up with our blue fluid, and we're going to let the magic happen. All right, so now we're going to add our copper sulfite water mixture you don't want your copper hitting the edges why not because it's all about conducting electricity and you don't want it to run all the way around the edges wow look at that I think that's probably probably enough so now Basically, we're going to plug it into the battery. I hope it works. I've not used it with the battery like this before. And it's going to, that wire is going to suck all the copper out of that bar over to the wire. And then the impurities of the copper are going to fall down to the bottom. So, step back, love, while I fire this thing up. Ooh. So, we're going to put anoid on positive and that one on there and I don't know yeah how long is it gonna take forever oh really yeah I thought I think you're supposed to eventually see some bubbling coming from either the copper or the from either the anoid or the copper but anyways we'll grab the camera if something cool happens crystals there forming pretty cool and my anoid starting to deteriorate awesome I'm gonna let it go for a while longer see what happens all right so that's been running for I want to say five or six days maybe and as you can see the anoid is almost all gone and since I've been running it so fast with, you know, what, 12 volts of electricity, I think that's all going to be really, really, really brittle. However, let's find out. First thing we do is disconnect the battery. Take off the sleeve here carefully. You ready? I hope it didn't all fall in there. Oh, no. A drama. <laughs> Neat. Oh. Oh my gosh. 
So that's all pretty much pure copper. It's beautiful. It's like a reef. So I'm just going to put it in this water just to get the rest of that copper nitrate off of it. Carefully. That's pretty cool. See how it's breaking off oh, so easy. No. But that's okay because I'm yeah. going to smelt it down eventually. It'll be broken then. And then the anoid. There's not much left of that either. Copper crystals. Look up here, babe. That's what's left of the anoid. My copper bar. And if you look down in there, there's more copper in there, the parts that broke off and stuff. And then all the impurities from this bar. So I'll run all that blue stuff through a filter and reuse it. Thanks for watching 1881MF, Little Debbie Does. We're making pure copper, people. How cool is that? And we all hated chemistry in high school. Sheesh. Thumbs up if you like metal.